Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. We are over here at the office high rise in Hypermine Vanilla. And what am I doing? Well, I'm here at the penthouse and I'm starting to take down these little marker guide posts. And what we're going to do on the way down is fill in the the floor and ceiling as the case may be but yeah that's what we're doing today we're getting ready and we should be finishing up with the rest of the project so I'm gonna continue taking these pillars down and you can kinda see the gist of what's going on here and uh, yeah so we got four of them all the way around and let me do that let's chat a little bit you might have noticed that I have changed up the recording slightly for a while there I was doing 60 frames a second and the overall um, the the general sense that I got from from people is that it didn't really matter some people don't like it and have issues with it and then um, it you know for Minecraft it's not really that big of a deal because we're not in an action pack game I mean we're not doing PvP or anything like that and overall just building doesn't need the 60 frames a second so I've I've gone back to 30 hopefully it's going to reduce the processing time as well for these videos so we're gonna try this go back to 30 frames a second for this episode and you let me know what you think did you prefer the 60 frames a second or is the 30 perfectly fine so um, I do want to know that but let me finish up on these you can see it's kind of tedious here so I'm gonna take care of that and then when we come back we can work on uh, something else all right see you in just a moment well ladies and gentlemen we've got the pillars out and so what we're gonna do now is start to work on the uh, the floors so each floor uh, you may note from previous times we were here each floor is marked by a specific color of stained clay and what we're gonna do now is uh, I, I don't have enough brown clay at the moment I'm gonna have to go craft some more up but what I want to do is kind of work out the overall plan with you so uh, so I just want to show you one one kind of hallway that we're gonna do and then I'm gonna carry that to the rest of the floors off camera so that we can progress and maybe even get this building done today so what we're gonna do is the elevator core is gonna be five wide right now my supplies chests are in the way so we'll take care of that off camera I'll move those over and uh, just use one of the office areas for my supplies in the future but uh, what we'll do here I'm gonna lay out the rough uh, floor plan and then we'll we'll go from there so we're gonna come out like that and this is gonna be one wall it's gonna separate things out and we'll assume just imagine a wall right there okay so you imagining you good good okay so we'll come out here and we've got uh, just make sure that we've got the right boundaries here and we'll go over like this and uh, and there we go so we're doing the brown stained clay on this floor and then we've got the different levels um, going up above that so then what we're gonna do is just carry this on all the way across the whole way okay so back here we're not going to have an easy access to to this spot uh, we're gonna just cover that off and the individual office owners are not going to be able to get back there and what we'll do is just to give us a little bit better idea of how this whole thing is going to come together and uh, yeah that's that's the main thing I want to do is give you a picture of what we're working with and then I'll take care of the details off camera but there we go we've got a little bit of an idea here of how this is going to go okay you see that kinda of coming together and I do have inventory tweaks so once I finish up there we go so we got a little bit more of the brown stained clay coming in like that okay so we're not doing too badly on the materials and then what we want to do is grab some of this okay well I already had some in my inventory and then around the top we're going to put a little bit of a roof situation here and let's just close this in since we've got a little bit more of the brown stained clay and this is not going to be something that is necessarily stuck so if the individual tenants wish to 
have different coloration on their walls. Uh, we'll have to work out something up here. But the main thing is that while you're going through the elevator, I want to make sure that you know which floor you're on. And so this is going to be the brown stained clay floor. And then we've got black stained clay, red, green, so on. Um, I, off the top of my head, I'm not sure uh, what the exact colors are. I do have a list of that somewhere. But, uh, but yeah, so there we go. We've got the roof situation in place. And you get kind of a feel for how this hallway is going to go. And back here is going to be some more interstitial space that we're going to use for maintenance purposes. But uh, So there you go. I'm going to take care of the rest of this off camera. And, uh, and then when we come back, we will start to take a look at the penthouse because we've got some exciting stuff up there. All right. So I will be back in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the office building. No, we're over at the Guardian Farm. Contract's also online, and you can see some of the progress he's been making. But let me show you some of the progress that I've been making. Let's just go around here, and boom. Yep, we've got guardians spawning like crazy. This thing is working really, really well. We've got this thing turned on, and we'll eventually come and get a, get a, what is it, a showcase video going. But for now, I think it's sufficient to see that this thing is working just fine. So we come over here. Let's take a look at the production thus far. Kondrick has been streaming a bunch. I've been on and we've got plenty of drops and uh, that should be a nice little present for fellow hyper miners. So, yep, Guardian Farm is producing and now it's time to get back to the office high rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here and I've gotten all of the floors done, and you can see one of the finished floors here. We've got one office on this side of the hallway, one office over here, and then the space back behind this wall is going to be for maintenance purposes. We've got some ladders back in there. We'll eventually have some maintenance access down at the bottom, but uh, you can see kind of the we got the color scheme running all the way through here, and if we go all the way to the top. It's a little bit different on the top floor since there is no continuation of the elevator. This hallway is a little bit taller, so the overall feel is the same. It's just the walls are going to be different. And out here, we still have to come in and do some interior decorating and all that, but we're going to do that at a later time. The main idea here is to get, get the overall structure done, and this was on the docket. So next up, We've got some work to do on the penthouse, right? We gotta we gotta cap the building off, and we've got some exciting stuff planned for that. I'm pretty I'm pretty jazzed about the design I've got going for that. And you can see we're kind of kind of boring right now. It's just it's just topped off. There's no ceiling, nothing up there. So we need to finish that. And what better way to do that than with a time lapse? I'll see you on the other side.
I hope you're not afraid of heights. And I'm over here on One Wolf's building, taking a look at what we've gotten done. You can see right there, we're topped out on the office high rise. It's not quite as tall as One Wolf's building, and it's definitely not as tall as the pinnacle over there. But we are all done, at least as far as the structure is concerned. So you can see right there the final product. See how that came together. Hopefully the time lapse turns out pretty good. If not, I'm just talking about something that you're not going to see. But uh, there you go. So uh, you can see kind of the, the stylizing from the Manchester Unity building, like I've been telling you. And I might try, through the magic of video editing, to put something on the side of the screen right about now. So you can take a look, and in particular the the archways on the side here from the these columns on right here on the corners to the middle column so that was the the big thing there so uh, I didn't just do the outside I did the inside a little bit too so let's go take a look at that shall we and here we are so what do you think this is the penthouse section you can see I've done the roofs up there and we've got a we've got a nice covering over our heads now, but uh, I couldn't just leave this tower standing freestanding on the roof. You have to support it a little bit, and so we've got these columns here supporting the corners, and then also a little arch to detail supporting the middle, kind of bearing the weight. Again, in Minecraft, you can do stuff that doesn't make sense as far as gravity is concerned, but it's nice to add a little bit of touch of realism to that. So. Let me know what you think of these column bits here and up there in the middle. We've got room for a chandelier and we might do that in the future, but for now we're going to leave it as is. We're kind of in a rough state in terms of the finishing, but the outside is done, which means we can turn our attention to the inside and to landscaping. Next up on our list is going to be downstairs here. We need to work on the lobby section because we do want to be able to open up for guests soon, very soon. So we're getting close. We got the offices in place. We did that this episode and we've got room for people to start moving in, but we need a place to conduct our business in welcoming new tenants to the building. So next time we are here, we'll probably be working on the lobby area. And uh, yeah, anyway, so still to do, we're working on the Guardian Farm. I showed you a little bit of that progress. That's ongoing. Catch me on twitch.tv slash mcsoapthegreat. You can also catch Kondrick, who's helping me with it. Actually, he's doing most of the work, digging out the, the ocean. So twitch.tv slash Kondrick as well. But that's going to be it for this installment of Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Hopefully you have enjoyed. And if you did, a like is always appreciated. But that's going to be it for now. Join me next time as we are working on this and it's not necessarily next week again we've got the modded series going as well but uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye